It's the ship made famous in the book and movie, The Perfect Storm. Its crew saved three lives from a sailboat caught in historically rough seas, and four members of the Air National Guard following a rescue attempt. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I'm rescue 231, Color Coast Guard Tamarola. Now, more than seven decades after being commissioned by the Navy in 1943, the Tamaroa, all 205 feet of her, will perform her final duty. She will serve as part of a reef 135 feet below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. Ten former Coast Guard members who served on the famous vessel have been invited aboard the Porgy 4 out of Cape May to witness the Tamaroa's final day under the sun. That's her. That ship becomes part of you. I mean, really, uh, you, you ask any of these guys that served on it, that ship becomes part of you. Great crew. You know, there wasn't anybody I served with that I wouldn't have trusted my life with. You know, there's a brotherhood you get when you're on the ship. You know, everybody becomes family. She's sitting a lot higher than she used to sit. Yeah, yeah, really. And uh, she's never gray. She's always white. I don't know why they painted her gray. But. Originally a Navy vessel named the Zuni, it was transferred to the Coast Guard in 1946 and named the Cutter Tamaroa. It was retired in 1994 and donated to the intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in New York City. So after years of preparation, the last workers have left the vessel. The ship will continue to flood slowly from torch-cut holes in the hull. Finally, within minutes of listing heavily to the starboard, the Tamaroa starts to go down toward the stern and begins its descent to the ocean bottom. Reactions and emotions are mixed. I pictured myself up there on the flying bridge and many times I walked around on her. Uh, seeing her go down was like a shovel with dirt on hit me in the face one last time. I would have liked to have seen it be a museum but it's better than being beer cans. To see uh, something like that, uh, something you won't forget, that's for sure. That was two years, four months of my life on that ship. Watching it go down, it was a mixture of pride and sorrow. It choked me up, it really did. Uh, it's good memories on that ship. But Tam's gonna continue serving. You know, that's what it's all about.